So I decided to embark on the Great North Walk, something I'd been thinking about since I was about 15 years old. I thought I'd try and visit the tower before they closed it, which will be in about March this year, 2018. It does have some pretty good views if you get the chance to go up and have a look before they do. Starting off the walk, you'll be at Queen's Wharf, following the path along the way to Nobby's Beach, seeing lots of boat activity, things on the side like the anchor, customs house, and life on the water, birds and fish, etc. This is the start of Nobby's Head, a lot of history here, built by the convicts, it also has significance to the Wapical people. There's a lot of plant life on the sand here and much to see along the way. So once you start to leave Nobbies, you'll be coming along to the Ocean Bards, then Newcastle Beach. It's one of the best beaches around the city. It does get very busy though. Coming up to King Edward Park and the Obelisk. It's a nice little walk up the top. You can see the city from up there a market for the Great North Walk. Some of the new paths they have as well. We'll be coming over to the Anzac Walk, seeing the hang gliders fly past if they're around. Coming down to Bar Beach, ran into one of the Culture Circle boys, David on the right. Coming down into Merryweather Baths, Coming into Burwood Beach, where the end of the first leg is, and it's about 245 k's to Sydney. 